But uh, so here's uh, my message this morning is that you have got to come first. You have got to come first. If there's something that you want, if you want to be of service to someone, you've got to come first. So I'm going to talk about that. Um, okay, so just a couple quick reminders. That, yeah, look, there it is. I love it. Thanks, guys, for the hearts. This is how you let me know that what I'm sharing here means something to you. And if you think that uh, anything I'm going to share means something to people that, that follow you on Facebook or on, or on Periscope, swipe and share it. Uh, I got something very powerful. Good morning. Oh, my gosh. Good morning. So good to see you, Stephanie. I'm assuming it's Stephanie instead of Mark. <laughs> All right, so here's, here's my view this morning. So you can see we got the hot air balloons running, going this morning. Um, absolutely beautiful out here. This is wine country, as they call it, as it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is in Temecula, California, Ian. Good morning. All right. So here's my message this morning. As I'm out here finishing my morning routine, done with my, done with my meditation, done with my affirmations, telling myself how awesome I am, because this is important, you do that every morning. Preparing for my day, so I did my visualizations, visualiz visualizing what my day is gonna be like. Well, thanks for the hearts, you guys. Basically, this is the end of my me love time, right? My, my me time. And I had my run. I read some scriptures, journaled while I was out here, and now I'm going to share what I learned. That we all have this, we all have this, the, the, what I like to talk about, by the way, my, my uh, scopes are all about business, building a network marketing company. My wife and I spent four years building a company, and after two and a half years, I was able to quit my job and be home with my family while we continue to build a business. Our organization has grown to over 37,000 people, and we're just getting started. And what I like to share is, is ideas and thoughts that help motivate us here to get us here so that we can have all the things that we want. That's it, right there. That's what my scopes are about. So today, we all have these, we, we, you know, by the way, follow me if you want to work on your why. Um, this week I'm going to be doing a lot of, um, while we're at a convention, doing a lot of finding your why scopes. So these are a lot of fun. And when you decide what you want, a lot of times what we want has a lot to do with other people. You're going to need to be of service to other people. In order to get what you want, you have to be of service to other people. Okay, I'm going to get in the shade here for a minute. Can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to see you guys too. It's going to be awesome. Still clarifying my why. Okay, we can work on it. So we'll, we'll follow me. We'll do another a why scope maybe later today. And... Um, so, and you cannot get what you want without being of service to others. However, you cannot be of service to others unless you are a service, a servant of yourself first. Hello, Tanya from Oregon. Right on. Welcome. So you have to be of service to yourself. Give me some hearts and some comments. If you feel like this is an area of your life you really need to improve right now. If you feel like this is an area of your life that you really need to improve, give me some hearts and give me some comments. How to be of service to yourself first. Not just being of service to yourself. I mean being of service to yourself first. If this is something you struggle with, oh my gosh, there's the hearts. This is, thank you guys for so much for letting me know what if, if I'm talking. There it is, hashtag Amy first. <laughs> hashtag Amy time, right? <laughs> Always putting others before me. So, oh my gosh, yes, your 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 mom. This is something I've gotten better at. I have to progress. Absolutely, Nicole. Go to convention for yourself. Absolutely, most definitely. Hashtag Amy time. Hashtag Amy time. For those of you guys who don't follow me, you gotta follow me so I can. But when I do these Y scopes, Amy has a very powerful Y, um, and uh, we kind of came up with hashtag for her. Hashtag Amy time. Love it. All right. So if this is something you struggle with, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you it's a little secret. All right, I posted it on my Facebook. By the way, follow me on Facebook. It's Eddie Via. You've got to master the morning. This is the secret. This is the way to do it. 
okay? I don't know of any other way to do this. Master the morning. Yeah, hashtag Amy time. Gotta follow my friend. Follow me, watch my scopes, and you'll see because what's awesome, what I love about my scopes is that I, my scopes are not just about me. Thanks, Amy. My scopes are not about me. It's about me connecting with, with my tribe, my people, my friends, people that inspire me like Amy Culp, for example. And we, and so my scopes are not about, about me and my scopes are about the people that join. So my friend, you gotta, you gotta come here or else I have to tell you the whole story. <laughs> so join my scopes. All right. What, uh, Alicia Piper Gold is my downline. Oh, right on. See, there's another one. Hashtag Alicia Piper Gold. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. So, uh, the morning. Okay. Now the next question, how many of you, with a show of hearts and comments, get up at the same time as everybody else in your home the exact same time exercise meditation inspiring periscopes or youtube yep that's right so how many times so to click uh, tap the screen if you get up when everybody else in the house gets up manatee madness says nope all right cool okay here comes the heart so i'm i'm, I'm already i can tell I'm, I'm the same way. I want you to know I've, I've always been the same way. Get up before exactly the same time as everybody else. If, if we're not, so sleep, I sleep until I have to get up. Okay. Yoga and Venus exercise. Mm. Yoga's, yoga's great. I tried it. Um, it's, it's, it's on my to-do list of things to do eventually to get to. I got a lot of stretching to do. Okay. So I get up after hubby gets everyone to school. Okay. So here's the secret that's been, that, that has allowed me to grow. So I'll just tell you a quick little story. Eight months ago, I was lost. I had no idea how the heck I was going to get involved. In the, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, Nicole. So um, about eight months ago, I was completely lost. And I mean, here we are. We had this thriving business that my wife built, mostly. And I was trying, I was struggling with trying to figure out what I was going to do. How was I was going to be myself and be able to add value to our business by still being me because I realized I couldn't do what my wife does and I couldn't do what other people do. I couldn't be Justin Harrison. I couldn't be uh, these guys that were, I'm your do to list. I love that. Uh, I couldn't be these guys. I had to figure out how to be me. And when I discovered the book, The Miracle Morning, I realized how important it was for me to work on me first. That was the, mo the most important thing. So how I do it is I immediately get to work myself the minute I wake up. So maybe you guys want to write this down or, uh, and then I'll, and I'll let you guys go for your day. First thing in the morning is I wake up and I go to the bathroom, of course. <laughs> I do that. And then <clears throat> go get a drink, a tall glass of water. Big, big old glass of water. Lots of water. This is going to be fun because I'm actually walking around. This was cool about walking in the morning. There's a lot of people around. So a big glass of water. Say hi to some people. And then I brush my teeth. Awesome. Morning. How are you guys doing? I'm um, great. Thank you. Yes. Does anybody know why water? There's a scientific reason behind it, but there's also a psychological reason behind it. Thank you. Water with lemon, yes. There's a, there's, a, there, there's a very serious scientific reason behind having a very big glass of water when you wake up in the morning, but there's also a psychological reason. For me, it's drinking water, two things. Is it actually increases my likelihood of going back to bed, or decreases my likelihood of going back to bed. And because when you sleep, you actually dehydrate. So it reduces my risk of heart attack or heart disease, right? I brush my teeth because I like to have a clean mouth. That also reduces my chance of ever going back to bed. I go downstairs and lay down and I follow a meditation. Uh, there's a guy that I follow. If you want to go to my followers, you'll see a guy who does, he does these awesome meditations in the morning and the afternoon. And I follow him first thing in the morning as I listen to his periscope and I meditate for anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. And then this is me resetting the brain. The brain is a computer that can be reprogrammed. That's me resetting the brain. And then I go on for five minutes and I just talk to myself. 
I pump myself up. I, let my, I remind myself of the things I've accomplished, the things I'm grateful for, right? The things that, that, um, that make me happy. I spend five minutes doing that. Then I spend five minutes planning my day. I go through my schedule. I know what's going on. What's his name? I'm sorry. I don't, I can't remember his name. I think it's Max. If you follow my, if you go on my followers, you'll see it's Max something. So coffee decreases your chance of going back to bed also. <laughs> it sure does. Um, I just, I'm not a big fan of coffee, to be honest. Uh, I don't like the taste. So I need to pump up. Yep. All right. So when I'm done with my visualization, it's time to exercise. Got to move. Whether it's a walk or I'll go do CrossFit or I'll go to the gym, whatever. A minimum of 15 to 30 minutes. Minimum. That's right. This takes time. Developing you takes time. And then I read. I find something to read. I like, I like to read scriptures, but you can read a book. You can read that, that book you've been putting away for a long time and read. And for how, Max Goldberg, that's it. Thank you. Follow him. It's great. There's great meditations in the morning and the afternoon. So now that I got the heart rate up, I believe in myself. And then I go and I study. And how long do I read? I just read until I get a concept. I read till I, I read till I get an idea. And then I write a journal about that idea. When I'm done journaling about that idea, I then, that's it, I'm done. Now my goal is that day to take the things I learned and apply it to my day. Because the truth is guys, that the, there are forces out there that are working against you. If you're trying to be something you've never been before or have something you don't have, there are forces that are going to wanna to stop you and you need to build yourself up before they get started. That means they go on your face, they, they, they go up to Facebook and they start typing things that are negative or they just start sharing things that are, that are just poison in the mind. And as long as you spend time developing yourself first, you have the power. You have the power to influence others. That's it. You can be of service to others when you are of service to you first. Hashtag you first if you guys are following me, if you believe what I'm saying, if this means something to you. Hashtag you first. And give me some hearts, let me know if this means something to you. If this is something you're willing to commit to, especially if you have children, you're a better parent. I'm a better father when I'm of service to myself first. The day I started being of service to me first is the day I improved as a father. Awesome, there you go, hashtag you first. All right guys, I'm gonna let you go. Let's have a good day. Let's have a powerful day. Let's be of influence to others by being an influence to ourselves first. You can influence others when you influence yourself. Feels like developing a backbone people can see from the front side. Yeah, heck yeah, oh, that's awesome, I love that. Develop a backbone that people can see from the front side. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Six kids, six grandkids, you got a lot, oh my gosh, you got a lot of love coming. Oh, that's so great. All right, have an awesome day today, guys. Be powerful. If you want to inspire others, inspire you first. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day.